interrupting that intro real quick. This is actually part of the 30-day uh, video challenge. I just, I just didn't get time to edit this. There's no excuse for it. I just didn't get time to put this video out. So this is actually supposed to be day 29 of the 30-day vi video challenge. And because you guys are so great in the comments section, I want to give back. So Slime Line sent me a bunch of uh, fishing line, just a ton of it. So I want to do a Slime Line fishing line giveaway. Um, there's going to be four spools. The first spool is the four pound test. It's like, I think it's like 1300 yards of it. A uh, six pound test, uh, 325 yards of clear six pound test, a eight pound test and a 10 pound test. The eight and 10 pound are gonna be the 1300 yard spools, just like the four pound. And the six pound test is the 325 yard spool. So it's the entire package, all four spools. Here's how the, uh, the contest is gonna go. First thing you gotta do, like my page on Facebook right here. Second thing, go follow me on Instagram. Instagram is kind of where I do my live updates. Also, you can contact me on Instagram and Facebook. Just got random questions, you wanna ask me something or you just wanna talk about fishing or YouTube or anything like that. Go follow and like those pages. And then the last thing, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe, hit that red subscribe button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, click that bell. So the last thing in the comment section, Tell me a story, fishing related, doesn't matter. Just tell me a story. I'm gonna pick the best story. And I'm gonna make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel, like Facebook, and you're following me on Instagram. And then uh, I'm gonna announce the winner in a week. The actual date I'll post in the video description. So I just wanna give back. Thank you guys so much. The comments were great during this 30 day video challenge, even though I didn't technically fi finish it. I had this other video just sitting in the hard drive, wanted to get out to you. So thank you so much. Rules again will be in the video description. Follow that for your chance to win a ton of fishing line, probably more than you'll ever need in one season, probably two seasons. Depends if you fish as much as I do. But yeah, go put stuff in the comment section to win these four spools. All right, appreciate you watching as always. Let's get to the main video. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode in the 30-day video challenge. For those of you who don't know, I'm Davis. This is the Flop and Crappie channel, and the 30-day video challenge is posting a minimum of one video per day in the entire month of September. And as you can see behind me, I am not by a lake. Nope. Actually, this bridge right, right here, this bridge, it's a trout stream. Today we're doing catch and cook trout, most likely brook trout. Need to, I want to catch at least one, obviously. Need one to at least cook. But preferably, these trout aren't that big, so I probably want to catch three or four. Make a decent decent breakfast. It's about 6.45 in the morning, and uh, let me show you what I'm gonna use to start off with. That is an absolute mess right there. Don't, don't break the rod. Here we go. Here we go. So if you watched my uh, the Fish Brain app video, this is the exact same rod I use. This is actually a five and a half foot dock shooting rod by ACC Crappie Sticks, but it makes for a great trout fishing rod. If you're a trout fisherman and you fish some smaller streams that have really tight cover, as you can see behind me, this is really thick woods. The entire stream is lined with just thick, thick bushes and overhang. You don't have a lot of room. You can't fly fish a stream like this. So this five and a half footer, perfect for trout fishing. I'll post a link in the video description below. You can use code FC10 to get 10% off this rod. If you're a trout fisherman, you like using spinning tackle, you fish in some tighter streams, this is perfect. So to start off with, I'm actually gonna be using black and yellow Panther Martin. And if that doesn't work, I do have some leaf worms because I do really wanna catch a trout and cook one up today. So. That's the plan, catch and cook trout. Oh no, I just realized I forgot Frank's Red Hot. Dang it. I was gonna spice out the trout today instead of just kind of cooking them in butter. Dang. Don't you hate when that happens? You plan something, especially for a cookout, and you forget the one thing that you really wanted. Ugh. Anyway, we're gonna go underneath this bridge here, try to catch a fish. If not, I'm probably gonna have to crawl through the woods a little bit. There's a few pools that I know of that hopefully will be holding some trout. So let's get to fishing. All right, 
we're down to the stream right now. I'm trying to be a little quiet because there's actually trout or there's some sort of fish hitting top water just underneath this, this fallen tree behind me here, right here. I don't know if there's like inchworms or something. Oh, there was one right here. So there's definitely fish hitting top water. I'm gonna throw this Panther Martin, this inline spinner though. They seem to like it. And if that doesn't work, I'm gonna do one of I'm gonna do a I did bring some some leaf worms or red trout worms. What do you call these? I call them leaf worms. What do you guys call these? Right there. It says red trout worms. I'm not really a huge fan of throwing live bait for trout, but I really do want to catch something. All right, here we go. We're gonna see, I'm gonna cast, normally I don't cast downstream with these, but there are fish underneath this little, this fallen tree. Line is twisted. There we go. Let's see if we can catch one. Something just hit top water right there. There are a ton of mosquitoes right now. Is that a fish? Yep, that's a fish. Got one. I don't think he's very big. But that is a trout, there we go. Rook trout on the board. Now, on this body of water, it's uh, Wisconsin went to green, yellow, and red, so I can keep I can keep any any size. But that is a look at that beautiful brook trout. See how the the orange spots have like a blue halo around them? That's a beautiful brook trout. He's probably about an eight eight and a half inch fish. They're not very big, but I am going to keep him because I do want do want to cook something today. So quick lesson on how to clean these if you don't have a knife you're gonna i'm not gonna actually show it because youtube's a little uh they're a little touchy on blood and guts so you're just gonna grab underneath the jaw into the gill set right here where the gill plate kind of comes in you're gonna pull that out and it's gonna separate from the jaw you're gonna take your finger and you're gonna slide it down the stomach line to the butt and you're gonna be able to pull all the guts out okay and once you get the guts out on the back, on the inside by the spine, whoops, which I think I'll be able to show you because there, there won't be any blood or guts. By the spine, there's like a line of, I don't know if it's a vein or something like that. You just got to take your thumb and you just slowly work it out and you wash it off in the water. So I'm going to clean him out and then I'll show you. This is what it looks like after you got it and you put your th finger through it. Now you see this, this black vein through here. Sorry, it kind of sounds like echoing because I'm underneath a bridge, but this black vein, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your thumb and you're gonna push, take your thumbnail and push all that out. It's just a, a vein line that kind of runs through the spine. And then you're gonna wash it off. When you get done, that's how it should look. Nice and clean on the inside. There you go. Trout all cleaned up without a knife. All right, so just showed you how to clean that out. I'm gonna see if I can catch a couple more here. Make a decent breakfast this morning. I feel like there's got to be a, at least one or two more in there. It's a pretty deep pool. Oh, yeah, one just hit top water right there. Oh, one just missed it. Oh, we just missed it. They got him that time. There we go. Got him that time. Another one about the same size. There we go. Two trout in the book. I'm gonna get, let's see if I can get one more. Let's see if I can get one more, one more little brook and then we'll be out of here. Go cook them up for breakfast. All right, let's see if we can get at least one more. At least one more here. I think there was a couple more that followed it up, so. Wow, these mosquitoes are bad. Come on.
Come on, one more trout and then we're gone. Maybe there are only two in that pool. I feel like there's more though. Oh, one just hit it. And he, he messed up the lure. Okay, so there's a third trout in there. There's a third trout. Come on. I'll leave him alone for a second. Jeez, these bugs got bad. Oh, there he is. Oh no, he had it. There was a third one. There he was. All right, so there we go. Trout caught in the cooler. Already put away in that cooler there. That was pretty quick actually. It only took me about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go and uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do a campfire cook or just do frying pan yet. I hope that, that little tip on cleaning trout by hand, trout are probably the easiest fish to clean by far. Um, I didn't even use a knife, so. They're very easy to clean. If you've never trout fished before and you want to try it, I encourage you to do it. Also, again, spinning tackle will probably be the best if, you, if you're starting a beginner trout fisherman. I'd recommend starting with the spinning tackle. So uh, let's get to the cabin and uh, fry these things up for some breakfast. All right, let's go. All right, welcome back. Well, we made it back to the cabin with the trout. I apologize if the footage looks a little grainy. The lighting in here is not that great. Actually, I could probably open this door. A little bit better light, there we go. A little bit better. So, here's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually just show you kind of what I normally use. Uh, butter. I loaded up the inside of these, these fish right here. I just load up the inside of them with butter. And then maybe a little bit of salt and pepper. I forgot the Frank's Red Hot. Hold on, let me see if I can find some Tabasco sauce or something like that. Oh well. What are you gonna do? All right, so I'm gonna load these up with butter, fry them up, I, I usually keep it on like medium, medium low. And all you're gonna do is once the skin starts kind of bubbling up, once that meat gets flaky and white, you flip them over and basically same thing on that side. So make sure that that meat is Nice and flaky and white. That's how you know you're, they're done. You might want to put a little extra butter just underneath the fish. Make sure that skin doesn't stick to the pan. All right, and as soon as you start to see golden brown on one side, and the skin kind of can peel off a little bit here, that's how you know when the, the trout's almost done. It, it looks like it's got a little bit to go on this one side. There we go, now it's all white. See how it's white on the inside there? That's how you know it's done on that side. I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit. That looks pretty done. I'm gonna turn that off, get a plate, serve it up. All right, so there is the fresh caught trout morning breakfast. Kinda of wish I caught another one, but what are you gonna do? Let's try this out. Pretty darn good. Could've used some hot sauce though. That was my fault. Definitely need to bring uh, some Frank's hot sauce next time. So, I'm gonna eat my breakfast. Appreciate you watching. Comment down below if you want to see more catch and cooks and what species you want to see. Also, be sure to like and share the video. And if you're not a subscriber, again, bottom right hand corner of the screen, red subscribe button, click that bell so you get to see every video that I post. And at the end of the video, you'll see my face holding a crappie. I have a trout. You can click on that to subscribe as well. Appreciate you watching. We'll see ya.